Super Blood Hockey is a sprite-based, retro-feeling hockey game with tons of pixelated blood to spread across the ice. The game is almost identical in look, design, and feel to the classic ice hockey game back from the NES days. You have a few different modes that you'll be able to select from including exhibition, tournament, and challenges to complete. After selecting which mode you want to play, you get to select your team from a small handful of countries that are in the title, you get to select your difficulty for the AI, easy, normal, or hard, as well as the length of the period. There's also a few other options, such as the way that the puck is controlled and the physics for the puck and the players, and also the amount of blood that you're going to be spreading on the ice. You then get to set up your team, and just like the original ice hockey on NES, you have three types of players to choose from. A taller, skinnier guy, a normal, average kind of guy, and a big, fat, enforcer guy who will be really slow, but he's able to pack better punches. Once the hockey matches begin, it's pretty simple controls. You have a check button that you can use on both offense and defense, the pass button, changing players, and of course shooting. Holding down the shot button, you can hold it for a second to charge it up for a more powerful shot, as well as aim the trajectory of where it's going to end up going, to allow you to have a better chance of getting it into the net. Being able to control your players, switch between them, pass, and shoot all works perfectly fine, and after just a few minutes of gameplay, I was able to get the hang of it and was easily starting to score goals against my opponent. Since there is a heavy emphasis on the blood, there's no surprise there's fighting in the game, and this is handled with a free-for-all where all the players start battling one another at certain points, whether or not somebody ends up getting checked one too many times. When a fight begins, though, everyone starts battling one another and eventually can get knocked down. Whoever's team is completely knocked down to the ice first is the loser. When this happens, though, one player stays on the ice, rolling around and spewing blood everywhere for a few minutes until eventually getting back up and rejoining his team. The game doesn't have any sort of penalty system, so this is about as close as the game gets to including something like that. The tournament mode is a pretty standard 8-team single elimination tournament, and every one of the countries in the game does have a special ending that plays when they're able to win the tournament. Exhibition is just that, an exhibition match you can set up with the basic rules and do a one-on-one -on -one match. And then there's the challenge mode. There's five different challenges, which are pretty awesome, actually, including one that is a 12-on-12 -12 -12 -12 match, and you're rewarded with some extra options to tweak during matchups if you're able to complete these challenges. All in all, Super Blood Hockey is a nice little throwback, and since I'm someone who really loved the original Ice Hockey back on the NES, I did enjoy this game. It also has some great chiptune music to go along with the hockey action. From the technical side of things, the game didn't outright crash on me, and there wasn't any major glitching. It did freeze on me at one point, though, when a player was unable to get back for another face-off, and because of this, I had to close the game and end up reopening. Super Blood Hockey is available now on Steam for $7.99. It does feature Steam achievements as well as Steam trading cards. Overall, Super Blood Hockey is a nice little throwback. For fans of the original NES Ice Hockey, you're probably going to get a kick out of this game for sure. I wish there were more modes. There's no online, unfortunately, but it can be played up to four players locally. I just think that the novelty of everything may run out a little bit too quickly for some. With everything said, though, I'm going to be giving Super Blood Hockey a 7 out of 10. But anyway, guys, it's going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.